blush, blush, brush, blush, brush, blush, brush, blush, brush. For blush, I'm gonna use this angular brush. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah and if you're new here, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you guys leave. This is the look I came up with today. I'm going to do the subscribers pick my makeup challenge. It was really a challenge because I was going into this makeup look without having any idea of how it's going to turn out. So if you guys are interested in watching what you guys picked for me, then please keep on watching. Okay, so let's get started. I have all the polls as screenshots on my phone because I took these like a month back or two months back. These are Instagram polls. They are screenshots on my phone. The first poll over here, I asked for primer and the options were for matte or just moisturizer I know a lot of people do not like investing in primers a lot of people don't believe in primers so my other options were all very risky ones like I gave one option which is like what I would do and the other which I wouldn't do in the wildest of dreams so that I wanted to make it quirky and see if you all choose the other option I would be dead in this game but the primer chose was matte so you all know me very well you all know I'm an oily girl and I need to close these pores before I start my makeup so I'm already moisturized actually but I use a gel based moisturizer I will leave a link to my skincare regimen in the description section so you can go check it out now I'm using my Smashbox photo finish oil free primer this just makes sure all the oils are at bay it's my favorite 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 primer of all time nothing comes close to this and no way any other primer can make my makeup last the way this one does so hands down this had to be my choice so for foundation the options were full coverage and low coverage and full coverage won by a huge majority so I'm really happy you all know me because girl I can't do low coverage for my life I wanted to go in with the Huda Beauty foundation since it is the queen of full coverage foundations but I kind of break out with that foundation so I refrain from using it when my skin's in that sensitive period and if you can see I have two little bumps over here and one more coming right up so I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty foundation because this is also full coverage but very lightweight and the only only disadvantage of this foundation is that it oxidizes a little bit but then after your full face of makeup is done you can definitely go out of the house without looking a brown mess I love the finish I love everything about this foundation apart from the oxidizing factor so I'm gonna take my real techniques sponge I'm gonna use pumps on my face that's how I work with foundation three pumps on my face and then buff it in And Fenty is my exact shade. If you can, you can probably tell that it does not uh, look too dark on me when I start buffing in. But at the end of my makeup routine, it sort of oxidizes. Like when I move on to the next step, it will start getting a little more reddish, brownish. So that irritates me. So I mix it with Huda, but that's a very expensive combination. Best part about the Fenty is the way it blends like a dream, like. You don't need too much hard work with this foundation. Just dab, 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 and it's gone. Like with the Huda, it's a little tough blending foundation because it is thick and creamy. This one is very fluidy, so just sinks into your skin. So can you see it's getting a little darker? Like as compared to my neck. This is still less coverage. Okay, I'm gonna go in with some more because. Full coverage was your choice. I'm not, I'm not saying it's you people designing my makeup, so... This video would have gone terribly wrong if you guys would have chosen a low coverage foundation because my forehead, the bumps and the acne are for real. Okay, this foundation sets super matte but it does transfer, it does come on your hands so of course it needs setting but before that concealer. Okay, so the options for concealer, I really took a risk here and said full cover or no concealer and Jesus, if y'all would have chosen no concealer, I would have gone and cried in one corner. I can actually do without concealer. I did my makeup several times without concealer on this camera setup. But right now, recently, I've been realizing how important it is to brighten the center parts of your face. So I use a much lighter shade for concealing because it really gives me that snatched look, makes my under eyes look brighter. So when I do a nice dramatic eye look, it looks really good. So I'm going to use my Colourpop No Filter Concealer. This is in the shade Golden 40. 
this is a lot lighter than what I would need but it really cancels out and blends like a friggin dream I want the whole no filter collection I cannot see it's much lighter than what I would need well said full cover so I'm gonna go full hand okay taking the tip end of my beauty blender my real technique sponge which I love so much I'm just gonna blend this concealer in Okay, so I need to quickly set my face something off in this area and for setting my face, uh, you guys chose for powder, the options were compact and loose powder and the compact powder won by a very small margin. I'm a little upset with that because I like my full face setting with a loose powder because it's lightweight and it does a brilliant job. But I'm going to use my Shambhal compact powder. This is my holy grail compact powder. This is in the shade Dual Walnut. This is a brightening, smoothening foundation wet and dry. This is an e.l.f. powder brush. I'm just going to take it loosely and set my entire face with compact because that was, that's what you wanted. So just a nice new compact that you all are obsessed with in your comments below so that I can go and try it out. Try it out for you guys. I want to experiment. I've hit pan on this like you can see. Okay, so for bronzing my options were subtle or fully snatched and subtle one by a huge margin. My face is not going to have a lot of dimension at the end of this video because you all chose compact which has given me one skin tone now and for bronzer also it's going to be subtle so no more dimension just using my NYX um, matte bronzer in the shade medium. This is in no way a subtle bronze because it's highly pigmented but this color is very subtle for me because it is the shade medium and according to my skin tone I should go a shade darker. So if I just apply a little bit of this it's going to add a warmth to my face and not really give me the contour and the snatched effect. So I'm taking this on a taking this bronzer on a pack to one four. This has easily become my favorite contour bronze brush ever. Uh, taking very little because obviously so like you can tell I just added slight warmth to my face I did not go in for anything heavy I'm just gonna add a little bit of bronzer on my nose okay so that's it for the bronzer subtle bronze like you guys wanted so the next pole was for highlighter and the options were blinding and glow from within and oh my god glow from within one by a huge margin so for this glow from within highlighter I thought I would use the NYX liquid illuminator drops which is born to glow so it gives you that natural iridescent glowing from within skin but I've already powdered my full face so this is out of the bin and my next option is the e.l.f. baked highlighter this is in the shade moonlight pearls this gives you a very natural sheeny glow and gives you that glow from within sort of look it's definitely buildable but I'm not gonna build too much because you all don't want that so this is all the glow I've gotten it's like not blinding you know me I I go with a striped blinding glow but this is more subtle and once I put my setting spray on it's just going to melt right in. So for blush you all chose a peachy blush and by a huge margin I do love peachy blushes. So my option today is the Sivana Colors Blusher in the shade 08. It's a very nice coral peach color. If you can see look it goes really well with my skin tone. Sivana Colors is a very affordable indie brand. You can get it at your nearest beauty stores. Okay, so the next poll was for setting spray and the options were dewy or matte and matte won by a huge margin. So today we are using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Matte Finishing Setting Spray and I'm just going to give myself a quick... Whenever I use this, Purnima says it, says it smells like vodka because it has a lot of alcohol content in it which isn't good for your skin. So I try to prevent using this spray but mostly all setting sprays which are sold in India do have alcohol in them but this one like you can really smell and even the LA Girl Pro setting spray you can actually smell the alcohol when you're squirting it on your face also I don't like the pump on the spray because it like squirts out it doesn't mist out. 
Okay, so this added this natural glow. All my powders have set in. I like it. I like how my makeup is looking so far. So you guys did a good job. Next for eyeshadow, the options were neutral, matte, and shimmer and glitter. And I hope you guys choose shimmer and glitter because then I would get to experiment. But you guys know me very well, and you all have chosen neutral matte. It, it's one a small margin. So I'm going to use my NYX Ultimate Bomb Neutrals palette because nothing screams neutral the way this palette does. Just look at this. This is a neutral girl's dream palette. Also just want to put it out there that the eye look I was wearing in my Nykaa lipstick review video which went up last. Uh, in that many people in the comments requested for a eye makeup tutorial because you guys loved the way my eyes were looking. But uh, I have used this palette again for that eye look as well. Whenever I want a neutral eye look, this is the palette I go for. So I'm going to recreate that same look. But in that, on the lid, I had a shimmer shade going on. The second shimmer shade. But today I'm going to use a matte because you all chose matte. So I'm putting it out there. This is sort of a tutorial for that look. I'm going to start with this dull brown color that you can see on the edge which has a grey undertone on it. Taking that on a pack 311 brush, it's a loose fluffy crease brush. Just going in with swiper motions and putting this color everywhere. Next I'm taking this mud brown and this other dull color. I'm going to mix both of these on a different brush so that I can get right into the crease. I'm taking this on a pack 122. I'm sorry if you can hear disturbance in the background. Actually construction work is going on in the house. My AC is sort of making noise. There's a lot happening. I'm going to place this just on the outer corners to add a little warmth and depth to the eye look. That was a really simple eye look so I was really not expecting that you guys would ask for a tutorial but so many did it. It's not just one person who asked. Many people asked so I had to because your wish is my command. I'm going to take this dark brown color more on the outer corners and then blend it in. Oh shit, I should have zoomed you guys in for this. Oh my god. I'm going to zoom you all right in. I'm so sorry I didn't get you all close before but uh, I just blended two colors in okay. So I'm just going to go in depth now. Taking the dark brown on this pack 203 brush. It's a more dense packing brush. So I'm going to place it very very close to my lash line adding that chocolatey brown depth. Okay so now I'm taking a flat brush. This is the pack 310 brush and I'm taking this first matte color, the matte white. I'm going to place this all over my lid. If I was working in an office, I would love putting this eye look for a meeting or for a conference. The wash of color isn't that much with a brush. I'm going to go in with my finger later on. Of course, I need a highlight in the inner corner. I'm going to take this pink color over here. It's a shimmery pink. It looks very metallic in the palette. I don't remember using it, but I definitely have used it somewhere because it looks used. I'm going to take this on a pencil brush and place it in my inner corner and let's see. Okay, nothing came. Uh huh, excuse me. Where's the color? You know how you guys use Fix Plus for, uh, how I always say you use Fix Plus for your shimmer shadows but then when you touch your Fix Plus dipped brush on a shadow it kind of ruins the top layer of the shadow, it creates like a film. So that's what happened with both of my shimmer shades in the palette so I just dug it with the uh, end and now I've dug out, can you see? If I do this it will like fall off. But like I dug out some shadow and then they took it, now it's gonna be intense I guess, I hope. Oh yeah, now the color is coming, but it's not highlighty enough for me, but I'm going to roll with it because you guys wanted neutral mattes, so here you have very neutral, well matched. Okay, so we are getting close to finishing the look for eyes, uh, for eyeliner, you all chose winged with a huge margin, like it's 70% winged and 20% no eyeliner. Like I said, I went with the other options to really take a risk but you guys know me well and you all didn't choose the other options. I'm going to use the NYX Epic Ink Liner because it's a very very good liner for drawing a wing. I'm not going to talk during this process because it's risky. Anyway for Kajal you all chose black by a huge margin. I wanted to do nude but you guys chose black. So I'm going to go in with my faces magnetized Kajal. I love this Kajal. 
I feel like my lower lash line has no drama going on. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of color on this small pack 202, the same colors we put in our crease. I'm just gonna take them a little bit and then smoke out my lower waterline. For lashes, I wanted to add falsies. You know, I enjoy adding falsies, although they are a task. You guys chose just mascara. So my mascara of choice today is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara, and this is now available in India. So I am so so happy that you guys can get your hands on it. I think it's sold exclusively on Nykaa. I'm not really sure, but it's only 800 bucks. So I'm super thrilled about that because usually when they bring things. From abroad, over here they make it pricier. So I think you should totally grab this. I love, love, love this, and you all will know the hype when you all use it. Okay, I think I'm totally done on the eyes over here. This is what it looks like. Very neutral, very simple. I think this paired with a nude lip would be an everyday office wear look. But for eyebrows, you'll have chosen the eyebrow pencil by a huge margin again. Not a pomade. I'm also not a pomade person. This just makes me so happy because I feel like you guys know me so well, or your choices are very similar to mine. That's the reason you all can relate to me. So that just makes me very really happy. I'm just gonna use my eyebrow pencil. This is from Miss Claire. Hands down, the best eyebrow pencil ever. Costs rupees ninety. So you can't even think before buying this. Just buy it. Uh, this is in the shade zero to dark brown. It's nice. It's waxy, and it also does the job really well. Okay, so we are totally done with this look. The only thing that's left is my favorite thing, the lipstick, which will tie everything together. You guys chose a bold lipstick, which I was really surprised about because I thought you all would choose neutral. But nevertheless, you guys know me. That means I love, love, love a bold lip. So I'm confused between two options over here. This is my ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Cashing Out. It's very, very bold. It's like vampy level bold. I will swatch it and show you all. Can you see how bold that is? It's like vampiness next level. I love it. But my other option is the Chambord Extreme Wear Liquid Lipstick. I've used it a lot, and when I put selfies on Instagram, everyone asks me which lipstick. This has tiny flecks of glitter in it, so it's pretty close actually, both the colors. But this has more of a mauvey tint to it, the Chambord one with shimmer flecks, of course, and uh, this is. Transfer proof. So this is one of my favorite liquid lipstick formula, the Chambord Transfer Proof Extreme Wear Liquid Lipstick. Amazing formula. This one will transfer. And since I'm wearing a white shirt, I think I should go for the Chambord one so that it does not transfer on my white shirt when I'm eating or whatever. I have a long day ahead of me. So this is what the finished look looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really do like this look a lot. This is something I would wear definitely hands down. When I was on vacation, this was sort of my go-to look, and I'm so happy that you guys know me so well and can relate to me so well because your art choices are pretty similar. Let me know what you think about this look. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Was this what you had in mind when you all polled on the Instagram poll? If you all don't follow me on Instagram, please do. I'm gonna leave my handle name right here. So go, go, follow me on Instagram and leave your thoughts in the comments below. I'm always reading your comments and replying to them. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. What are you waiting for? It's absolutely free. Nothing in this world is free apart from YouTube subscription. So go subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell. Very important. Because I make videos twice every week, and it's always going to be fun because we are always going to be chatting. Uh, so I will see you in my next video. Until then, bye, guys. Love you all. Take care. Mwah.